Welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at Google Docs. I am here in Google Docs with a blank doc in front of me. We're going to go over some of the basics that you need to know as far as using Google Docs. Now you can always access Google Docs by going out to your waffle and clicking on the Docs icon. You can grab Docs within your Google Drive by clicking on New and then grabbing Google Docs from the side menu. But here I'm already in Google Docs, so we're going to start here. You all also always could just type in docs.google.com and you'll get here as well. All right, so let's take a look at Google Docs. Google Docs, if you're more Microsoft based and you've used that before, it's your word. So this is going to be a very intuitive, really helpful uh, resource for you to be able to create templates, meeting notes, uh, to be able to create agendas, uh, to, you know, write your book, whatever it is you'd like to do, you can use Google Docs for. What's really nice about Google Docs too is that it's fully collaborative, which means you can share a document with whoever you'd like. And we're gonna go over some of the share features here uh, that will also coincide to how they work in Google Slides when we go over to that. You're gonna see a lot of similarities between Docs and Slides. I'm gonna go a little more in depth here in Docs and that way I can go a little briefer in Slides. If at any point you need to explore or just need to pause or slow things down, take a break from the video and come back to it. This is a lot, um, but we're going to go over the basics of what Google Docs can do. Now I'm going to start right at the very top where you see where it says untitled document. You always want to type in the title of whatever it is you're doing. So I'm just going to uh, write resource um, to give it a name. Now, little uh, fun tech tip. I like to put dates on things right in the, uh, in the title or at least the month and the year to help me out to remember to find it. So when I'm in Google Drive and I'm using that search function that I showed on the prior video, you can go ahead and find it easier because it's in your title. Totally up to you how you want to call it. When you click away from that box, it saves it. Uh, next to the box is a star. If you start, it saves in your Google Drive in a different spot. Remember, I showed you the start. I'll show you quick again. Your starred live over on the left-hand side in Google Drive. Uh, next to the star is a folder, or sometimes you'll see the Google Drive icon if it's not saved in your drive yet. This is going to help you organize where you want to put that document. And then you have um, some of the, the cloud document things. Don't worry about that one. All the way over on the right, you're going to see a little, um, looks like a clock with an arrow around it. That's going to show all the edits that are done on a document. So if you have a document that's been opened by a lot of people, you're going to be able to see who did what when. Uh, somebody deleted something by accident or you need a clean copy of your document. You can use this button to be able to grab that. We're not going to dive into it. Just know that it's there at the basic level. Just be aware that it's there. Next to the um, this uh, um edit history, you're going to see the comments. You're able to comment within a document. I'll show that in a little bit. You're also able to share right to a Google Meet. And then we're going to go over share options in just a moment. Below that one, you're going to go to the main menu. These are going to th be the things you'd expect to see on a doc. It works across a very similar to what you'd have in Microsoft. They're just going to be in different spots and how it's organized. So you click on file. This is where you can uh, worry about your full things about this document. It's going to have your share features again, your ability to download, approvals. You can add labels to it. It's kind of like putting in a folder. Um, we just call them labels in Google. You can rename it, add your shortcut, delete it if you don't want it. Again, you can get access to your history just like you could from the top. You're able to translate the language. You're able to set up the page. You can even go pageless so it doesn't have pages. And you're able to print that document. In the edit, they're going to have the typical things you'd expect to have. Your cut and paste, your select all, find and replace. Find and replace is a great one to, to use. So if you need to change out a name or something like that, you can find all the indications of where it is in the document. And then you can also um, change whatever it is you want it to change to. Now, I'm on a Mac, so just know that my icons are going to look a little different than if you're on a PC. It's going to tell me what to click, so I have to hit Command to grab different things. You might, if you're on, let's say, a Chromebook, you'll have Control. Under View, this is going to give you uh, the ability to see all the things that are happening within your doc. 
Under insert, this is where you're going to add things to your documents. You can add drawings, you can add charts, you can add emojis, um, you can add smart chips, which are going to give you um, the ability to put in different things like timers and calendar events, and even um, just a, a place marker for people to put information in. You can also add drop downs like you might see in a Google Sheet where you can add in yes, no, or have students vote for things, whatever it is you'd like. You can add in your footnotes. Uh, the building blocks are going to be AI generated um, frameworks for you or templates, if you want to call it that. They're going to help you build um, how you're using the doc. We don't cover that at basics, but it is something in more advanced classes. You have the ability to add an e-signature so that your docs can be signed. If you teach math or uh, need special characters, you have a section for that. You have the ability to create tabs, put in a watermark, add in your headers and footers, add in uh, page numbers or breaks, and you can even add in links from your insert. Your format is going to be how you format your text. The tools are going to add more um, resources to this document, so it's going to be your spelling and grammar, which is your AI tools. It's going to give you your word count, the ability to add in citations, and uh, have your dictionary, the ability to translate a document. You can even voice type. Uh, so as I'm talking, it can do that. Your accessibility features are here as well. So all of that is in this um, this area. The activity dashboard is going to show you who looked at your document, if this is a shared document. Extensions are add-ons to what you're already doing in your Google Doc, so we definitely won't be covering that in this video. Um, that is more of an advanced feature. And then you always have the ability to ask for help. So you can search the menus, you can go out to Docs uh, Help, you can go for further training, uh, and then you can see all your keyboard shortcuts within that menu. Below those, you have your uh, dashboard that's going to give you your shortcuts that are also up and above, so it's nothing new. It's just going to give you the ability to organize them on this toolbar. If your toolbar is hidden, there's a little arrow on the right-hand side right here. And when I click on it, it hides it. If, I, if you don't see it, you're going to click, and it's going to bring that menu back down. So here I can print. I can change the text size, color, um, you know, anything I want to do there. I can change the orientation as far as where it's aligned. I can uh, work on paragraph and spacing. I can link things. All of that is in there. On the left, you're going to see your documents tabs. You can hide this if it's something you want to go away, or you can pull it back out. So this is going to create that outline for you on your document. Now in the center is where you're actually going to type. So here, I am typing, right? So you're going to see all of that information right on the main part of your screen. If I wanted to link something, I can highlight the word, click on link, put in that link, whatever I'd like it to be. And maybe I want to go out to typing.com. It's going to put that link in there. I can also add links directly. So uh, let me grab a link. So let's say I grabbed a link. So I have one here and I hit return. If I highlight on top of the link after I've hit return, it will give me this AI uh, generated one saying, how would you like this title to look? I can click yes, and it's going to adjust that title for me. Totally, again, up to you on how you want to do that. Everything else works as you would expect. So as you're typing, and actually I'm going to turn on voice typing for you here. So as I'm talking, as I'm talking here, it's going to continue to type what I'm saying. And I'm doing this so that I have some text on the page so you can see what it looks like. But it also can be something that you use for translation. It could be something you use to help your students get their ideas down before they have to start typing. Any way you want to use voice typing is up to you. But it's a great feature that is here within your Google Doc. So I hit stop, so I have that information. Obviously, I'd have to go back and edit, put in some periods and capitals and that sort of thing. Um, but it gives you a good start as you're going through. So Google Docs, it can be used for many, many different things. I'm going to come out of this resource here and just show you some different ones as far as how they could look. You can use them for uh, charts. You can do them, use them for embedding links. You can create different, um, you know, like this is a, a 5e lesson template, so you can use it for your lesson planning. Anything along those lines that help you out, you can certainly do right within Google Docs. Now, one of the really cool things, and I pulled this doc up for a reason, let's say I want to find a word in the document. I'm going to hit Command because I'm on a Mac, but you can do Control, and I'm going to, going to put the F. I'm going to say Command F or Control F. And what it's going to do is it's going to find things in, in this document. So let's say I use the word Lesson, for example. It's going to show me that I have the word Lesson twice, and it's going to let me tab between them. Really good feature for you to know how to do. If you have a collaborative document, 
inside this document, you're going to add other people to it. So let's say I wanted to share this document with other people. I'm going to go up to the share icon in the top right. I'm going to add in the people I want to, um, to have access to it. So let's say I wanted Deanne, for example, to have access to it. I can choose viewer, which means it's view only, commenter, meaning they can only put comments on it, or editor. I can even add an expiration date as to when she doesn't have access to it anymore. I can then add in a message because I'm notifying her she's going to get an email, letting, me, letting her know that she has access to this document. I can also grab the link and send it to her in a different way. All right, so that is sharing directly to a person. You also have the ability to do general access. You can have it set that anyone with the link is an editor. You can have it set that anyone the link is a viewer and so on. And then you'd copy this link here that you see in the bottom left of your of this uh, pop-up box and off you go. So up to you how you wanna share that item. If you do anyone with a link for your within your um, organization, it's going to lock it down to just your organization. All right, so that is the basics of Google Docs. Uh, you should probably spend some time clicking around, checking out different parts of it. At level one, we talk about how to add in images. We talk about um, how to add in comments and that sort of thing. At this level, we're just kind of identifying what you have on the screen and uh, some basic functions as to how it can be used.